Hi, good morning. Welcome to Garden Friends. I'm Andrea. I'm here in July in Tampa, Florida, and I'm here with my basil. This basil reached the end of its life. Um, it was beautiful a few days ago, and then some of the smaller leaves started to look a little wilty. And I started to think, oh, there's something going on. So I harvested it yesterday. I got about a gallon's worth of basil off, and I came out here to pull it up, and the soil around it is pretty damp compared to my other grow boxes um, for this time of year. And so it's not, it's not absorbing the water like it should. And I had an idea that it was because of nematodes and I pulled it up and sure enough, I have got some root knot nematodes. So root knot nematodes are these little invisible things that you can't see, but they burrow into the roots and they keep it from um, being able to absorb water and nutrients um, properly and then they will wilt your plants. I get them more often, I find them on my tomatoes, but this time I've got them on my basil, probably because they were already in the soil from something else that I was growing. Now, a surefire way to tell if you've got root knot nematodes is you're gonna look at the roots. And you see these little galls here, these little, these little bumps on my roots? That's root knot nematode. Real easy to identify um, once you pull your plant up. Now, I'm not gonna put this um, into any kind of compost. I'm not even gonna send it off to the city's recycling program for the plants. I'm gonna put it directly into a garbage bag. And he's going into the garbage and the city can burn it. I've got one more that I'm gonna pull up and then I will have to figure out what to do about these eggplant because they're growing. I don't know if, um, I don't know if they'll really be that productive since I've got nematodes in here. But we're gonna, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them a shot. One thing that you can do to try to reuse your soil is once you get all of your plants out, you can cover it with clear plastic and sit it in the sun and leave it for, oh, a month, maybe six weeks if you're not an impatient gardener. I am an impatient gardener, so six weeks doesn't work for me. But that can hopefully kill off a lot of them. You can also take all of this remaining soil and put it into a black garbage bag tie it up, sit that in the sun four to six weeks, and hopefully it will cut down that nematode population so that you can reuse your soil. What I did with the last tub that I had, I had a, had a metal tub that had tomatoes in it, and I pulled it up full of nematodes, but it was probably the third time that I had used that soil. Even though I mended a little bit, the nematodes were still there. I let it sit for about three weeks, and then I used it in some low spots in the yard where I mostly have my, my weeds and I wasn't real worried about it contaminating my vegetables or my flowers. So there's, there's some different things that you can do to reuse your soil. Um, basically, the nematodes are everywhere. They're, they're in the ground, they, they just show up. So we just have to be able to, to live with them and watch your plants for health. If they start to get kind of icky, you know that you need to do something with them. Um, but, you know, we're gardeners, it's Florida, and it's just one of those things we have to adapt to. So nematodes, not your friend, but you are my friends, you're my garden friends. So if you like my video, go ahead and subscribe. It's always nice to get more friends. And I wanna thank you for watching me. Have a nice day.